Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back today for another Fortnite video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. Now today we have a lot to go over. We're going over the possible destruction of Tilted Towers that was leaked a long time ago. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And I want to show you guys also what exactly has happened to the iceberg at Polar Peak. It's continuing to melt and it's pretty crazy. So make sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. These guys guys on screen are absolute legends that used my supported creator code. If you're ever buying any V-Bucks, buying any skins, make sure to throw my code on there. It's PineapplesYT and send me a screenshot for a feature in an upcoming video. So the first thing I want to talk about in this video is a new skin Fortnite teased on their Instagram. I don't know if I would call it a leak because, you know, the Fortnite developers themselves chose to put this on their story. But nonetheless, here it is. The skin is pretty interesting. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks very festive. Looks like it definitely fits into the winter holiday spirit. I would assume this is probably going to be an item shop skin and you're going to have to purchase it if you want it, but this is also kind of like a one in a kind situation. I can't remember any other time that Epic Games has teased a skin on their Instagram story or by any means kind of like this. So. It's interesting. I don't know if this is going to be an item shop skin, which is most likely, but it could also be unlockable via challenges. This could be the January 1st reward. What if this is literally the encrypted skin that everyone has been talking about? There's also a chance it could be the snowfall skin. I mean, as far as we know, it could be anything. I'm not sure what it is. All we know is Epic Games randomly posted on their Instagram story teasing the skin. Let me know what you guys think the skin is all about. I'm not sure. And of course, ultimately time will tell. It's definitely intriguing to me that they chose to tease this on their Instagram story. I'm pretty sure that hasn't happened before. But of course, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the iceberg has quietly continued to melt. I landed at Polar Peak today, and I was very surprised to see that there is a good bit that has melted off the side, exposing even more areas and more lootable chests. It's crazy how this goes largely unnoticed by a lot of people because of how many things there are going on in the game, even though this specific part of the map melting down is probably the biggest part of the Season 7 storyline. Not that many people have talked about it, and truthfully, I learned it by myself. I didn't see anybody talk about it, I didn't see any posts, I just went into the game and noticed it and I thought I would share it in a video. Essentially, what's happened is the sides of the castle, the right and the left side, have created a pretty good little divot in there, and you can go down, and you can even crack into the castle walls further down than you can actually get into inside the castle. It's not much down there, you know, there is pretty much two chest spawns, so there's more areas to loot. It makes Polar Peak that much more viable, but you can also go down the staircase here. Unfortunately, there's not much else. I tried cracking down every wall and every floor I could to see if there was anything else we could access, but unfortunately, there's really not. I'm not sure if this means anything at all, but look at the way I'm hitting this ice right here. I'm swinging my pickaxe normally, and it's not doing anything strange. So I thought to myself, that's weird. Normally when you hit ice like that around this area, that's not the way it works. So I went just a little bit to the right and swung at the ice, and then my pickaxe is being stopped very shortly after swinging. I even went to this corner and swung back and forth on both the ice walls, and you can tell the very clear difference between swinging on one ice wall versus another. And like I said, I'm not sure if this means anything, but typically when your pickaxe gets stopped right away and it does the animation like you see as I keep hitting this ice right here. Uh, that means that it's unbreakable and it's pretty much a given that that area is going to stay. I've never experienced anything like this where the pickaxe doesn't get stopped when swinging on an area that is like this, but I would imagine that's a good sign for the future, meaning that's probably going to be melting down at some point. That's the only thing I can think of. Also, there are strange pillars on either side of the staircase case if you break the walls and that's interesting and of course when you try to hit it with your pickaxe you do get that short animation signaling it's probably going to stay there. I don't know if you guys knew about this new part of Polar Peak, but I was playing today and it was really interesting because I'd never seen it. I was quite surprised and honestly when I went down there I was kind of halfway expecting 
to see the dragon lair, you know, but of course it's way too early for that. Still 60 plus days in the season. I bet it's going to take a while until we get down there. And I'm curious to see how much further down this castle can actually go. You know, it just keeps going and going and going. It's got to run out eventually, but I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon. I want to take a quick second to cover something that I've seen so many people tweet me and I thought if so many people are going to tweet me this, I might as well cover it. I've gotten reports of there being a strange comet-like object up in the sky and this is a picture where you can see it very clearly. I have not seen this in the game myself, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Maybe I just haven't looked close enough and honestly, I haven't. That's probably the reason why, but I'm curious as to whether or not you guys have seen this in game. Just go in the comment section right now and type either yes, I have seen it or no, I haven't seen it. I've seen it on social media, specifically tweeted at me so many times so I figure it's probably got some credibility to it. Now the question is, what is it? You know, why is it there? Why is it in the game? To me, the very first thing I think of, and I bet this goes for a lot of other people too, is the meteor from season three. You know, a much smaller meteor. I don't know what's to come of this. I really don't. Leave your theories down below. Maybe we'll get some more information on it soon enough. So now I want to talk a little bit about the future of Tilted Towers. Now, if you recall, you probably know this, but there is one building in Tilted that's pretty much right in the middle and it's gotten repaired so many different times over the course of the seasons because it's been destroyed so many different times. I mean, this has to be the most unlucky building in the history of Fortnite. It just constantly keeps getting destroyed. The building owners absolutely hate their lives. It all got started in Season 4 when a bunch of meteorites hit the center of the building which basically broke it for a long time. You might remember this picture. Of course, the repair crew got on it and it got destroyed yet again by the cube in Season 5. So long story short, this building has a history of constantly getting rebuilt after a catastrophe and then getting slammed again right when things are looking good. With that said, could we see something happening to this building again? Like if you see it right now, it's nearing the final stages. It's at least halfway through its construction. So with that said, we're just about in prime time for something else to happen to this building again. Back when season seven was just about to start, there was a big leak slash rumor that basically was talking about Tilted Towers getting destroyed. And this is a straight image from the game's coding that does say explicitly destroy Tilted Towers. And apparently the lines of text have to do with bots that are configurable in some manner to attack various objects. Like I said, this was a big bit of information right when Season 7 started, and it's not the first time we have even considered the fact Tilted might get destroyed. Of course, if you remember, back in Season 3, everyone thought the meteor was going to slam it to start Season 4 and destroy it. Sure enough, that never happened. Then this rumor came up about three or four weeks ago, and nothing has happened yet, but that doesn't mean nothing will happen. It is still in the game's coding, and I'm not making that up. Like, they literally did put that in the game's coding, and it was updated for the new season, Destroy Tilted Towers is the line of code. Whether or not that means exactly what it says or whether or not that's a placeholder code line of some sort, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, it's in the game's coding. And another thing's for sure, most of what Epic decides to put in the game's files does actually come true in some way. In the comment section down below, let me know if you would personally feel excited or sad or whatever emotion you'd feel if Tilted was destroyed. Personally, to me, it wouldn't be a huge deal breaker, but I feel like to a lot of people it would be just because of how iconic of an area Tilted Towers truly is. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I appreciate you watching the late night upload. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and use my support a creator code if you're ever buying any skins in the item shop. I'd appreciate it. Have a great night. I will catch you in another video very soon. And until then, peace out.